Stephen. There he is. Hello, man in the mirror. I know you're scared. A bit, yeah. I know you're confused. You weren't supposed to see any of this. What are you? you sure you want to know? Mark, you look different. I can't tell the difference between my waking life and dreams. Am I like some sort of secret agent? It's a little more complicated than that. We protect the vulnerable and deliver justice. This is the best, worst day of my life. So the first episode of Moon Knight was just released and most of you watching this video either watched it or you are planning on watching it but you are unsure or maybe looking for some sort of explanation from a Christian perspective. Well you have arrived on the right video. But just a disclaimer, this video is not a review as the series has not dropped yet as of recording this video. But this is just a discussion based off of current knowledge on the source material the show is inspired off of, speculation by other content creators and fans, interviews, articles and other things across the internet. So let's get into it by first asking a question you probably asked yourself before arriving at this video. Should a Christian watch the Marvel Moon Knight series on Disney Plus? And our answer to that at explanations is that's completely up to you. But we will heavily advise that if you plan to watch it mindlessly as another piece of entertainment or any piece of entertainment for that matter, we would probably recommend against it. Although we do our best not to do direct recommendations to any form of fictional media we cover as it leads to persons wanting a do and don't list of what to watch and what not to watch rather than asking God for discernment or in some cases they are just looking for a source of justification to the answer they already made up in their mind and would disagree with any answer that is opposite to that decision. Everyone's scenario and revelation pertaining to media is different. Some people may have been given a claim not to watch any movies or shows instructions along their walk with God and others may have not been given those instructions by God. So we present you with the information so you can make your own choices based off of it. But just doing that isn't answering the question at hand and can be seen as a sense of chickening out so at the end we'll give our opinion on it. As we continue, the number one scripture that we hope you consider and keep in mind when thinking about watching any piece of fictional media in the future is Luke 12 verse 48 which says, From everyone who has been given much, much will be demanded and from the one who has been entrusted with much, much will be asked. We'll double back to the scripture later in the video, but let's get into what is Moon Knight according to the Marvel Wiki. Mark Spector, better known as the Vigilante Moon Knight, was once a mercenary left for dead in the desert, where he was revived by the Egyptian moon god Kong Shu. Appointed as Kong Shu's fist and high priest, Moon Knight enacts justice to protect those who travel at night. Moon Knight also has dissociative identity disorder. Some of his alters being millionaire Stephen Grant and cab driver Jake Lockley. In the comics, he is the son of a rabbi who, as a child, had managed to escape Nazi persecution after Hitler invaded Slovakia. After a tough childhood, Mark enlisted in the Marines and served for three years. On his second tour in Iraq, his superiors caught notice of Mark's bizarre behavior. After his past was dug up, Mark was dishonorably discharged. He later became a CIA agent and then left that job behind after a cover-up where his girlfriend was killed by a corrupt gun-running scheme along with an altercation where he presumably blew the guy who killed his girlfriend up with a grenade. He then became a mercenary but after a raid on an archaeological side job goes south, he dies but is revived by the Egyptian god Kong Shu and becomes Moon Knight. As Moon Knight, Mark fought crime on the streets with the help of a network of informants including his friends, homeless folk and diner owners. He has mostly worked alone but he is also a member of a few superhero teams including the West Coast Avengers, the Secret Avengers and the Heroes for Hire. In the series, Moon Knight is played by Oscar Isaac, the same guy who played Apocalypse in the X-Men movie. 
going according to some screen run articles that are linked in the description to help piece together what we can expect to see in the series, one article expounded on one clip from the series where Ethan Hawke's villain is using his powers to summon a demon to kill Oscar Isaac's particular hero. The article states that Hawke stars in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Arthur Harrow, a cult leader associated with the god Amit who seeks to cleanse the world and views Moon Knight as a hindrance to his plans. Amit in Egyptian mythology is a patron of death and execution. The show most definitely is going to be deep diving into the Marvel rendition of Egyptian mythology considering Moon Knight is the empowered embodiment of the Egyptian god Khonshu. There has been also a lot of articles I've been seeing on Facebook about the director throwing shades at other movies on their depiction on Egypt so it's definitely going to be going down that route. The article continues by saying Moon Knight will resolve around a mild-mannered gift shop employee Stephen Grant who begin to learn that his blackouts and sleep problems stem from him having dissociative identity disorder and his true identity being that of mercenary Mark Spector, who has become the conduit of the Egyptian moon god Kongshu. In addition to Grant and Specter, the MCU series will feature the Mr. Knight alternate personality who is a street-level detective donning an all-white suit. Everything Always was given access to the first four of the six episodes of the series and stated that the series is going in a completely different direction when compared to other aspects of the MCU, more about exploring character building and etc. In New Rockstar's trailer breakdowns, they have stated Moon Knight may end up being a psychedelic horror series, comparing it similar to WandaVision in the way that the show explored the scary things one's mind and perception on reality can achieve. So that is all I was able to muster up regarding the Marvel Moon Knight series which I hope helped you a bit in whether or not you are going to watch it on Disney Plus when it comes out. As stated earlier, we do our best to not do direct recommendations to anything we cover despite our breakdowns, opinions or views on it. For those that are wondering if I'm going to watch it, probably as I do eventually end up watching all Marvel media just so that I am aware of context for future connecting shows or movies, but I'm currently on a mission to binge the entire Arrowverse with somebody's following this article because I want to cover Crisis on Infinite Earths by summer. And I mainly stick to shows that have a form of biblical flipping or is connected to one that has it. As lately, after doing so many of these videos and research into fictional media, I can't mindlessly consume it as I used to despite how critically acclaimed it may be. And most definitely in relation to Luke 12 verse 48 mentioned earlier which says, For everyone who has been given much, much will be demanded. And for the one who has been entrusted with much, much more will be asked. We will be judged by what we know. And because of the knowledge I have and the call to do these videos by God, shows and stuff I loved and could binge long ago, I find myself turbo skipping through and not even gathering what is going on in the plot. But as I stated earlier, everyone's revelation and instructions is different according to where they are in their walk with Christ. But universally, you will be held accountable for the things you allow into your spirit once you know the detriment it can cause upon you. You see, many people have the notion that what we watch does not affect us, and anyone who states that it does are being delusional or have too good of an imagination or just simply hate all forms of entertainment. But this is far from the truth and we will be touching on it in a future video because I kinda don't want these preview videos to be too long. As for Moon Knight, it falls into the same category as all fictional media falls into for me at this point in my walk with Christ. I will be held accountable for the things I allow into my spirit once I know the detriment it can cause on me. Moon Knight is going to be venturing into things like sleep paralysis, demons or manifestations, sacrifices, rituals and the slew of things that come with Egyptian mythology. He is considered a mystic type character in Marvel and is a possessed empowered embodiment of an Egyptian god. Yeah. Those are all qualities of things we as Christians used to be advised to stay away from but today saying that would make you get viewed as someone who can't seem to see entertainment for what it is meant to be. But speaking from personal experience especially as someone who dabbled in a bit of Egyptian and African beliefs a long time ago while mixing them with God in my early walk with Christ while doing independent research stemming from entertainment 
we have to remember that although some of us as Christians can see through and not watch it as mindless entertainment so it doesn't sink into our subconscious, there are many that may not be able to and these things may be the starting point of their questions. Because regardless of how far disconnected a show may be from reality, someone is always able to find a scene or character to connect it to their reality or the current situation they are going through. I mean that is how we get who is our favorite character in any piece of media or what is our favorite movie. It is always in movies, scenes or characters that resonate really deeply with us are the ones that become our favorite. And in moments like these is where the questions start for some that help them to see it from a what if angle and from a different perspective. I have repeated that line in pretty much every video so far because it can be applied to hero remains to the DC presence and even to the Moon Knight series. It is all about what you allow into your spirit once you know either the benefit or detriment it can cause upon you. So that's it for this installment of A Christian Preview 2. We plan to do more of these in the future for upcoming movies or films or games I have some base knowledge on or for those that are requested. If you do end up watching Moon Knight, let us know in the comments with a spoiler warning of course on the various things that you were able to spot from the show especially any biblical undertones. I know this video may not have been the answer some of you were looking for and others may agree or disagree with our perspective on it so let us know any and all thoughts in the comments below. And with that, remember, these videos are not to tell you what you can and cannot watch even though it may seem like that at times, but it's for you to make your own decision. But it is simply that you no longer blindly consume.